Welcome, everybody, to Rolling on Three, the first podcast for all three wheel owners. Whether you're riding on the Riker Spider Slingshot, this is the show for you. But today, I got something a little different. I'd like to welcome Tebow to the show, president and founder of Relia. And the reason why it's a different show is because I came across this product uh, just scrolling through social media. And I said, this is a must that I must show my uh, people who watch my show about this product. So, uh, Tebow, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Thank Happy you. to be here. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, for people that don't know, uh, his company, him, the founder, has came up with an idea of a motorcycle jacket. And this thing is cool. And for those who are listening, <laughs> excuse me, and not watching, they're not going to get the full effect of this. But this jacket lights up and it is an amazing product. So he has it on right now and he's got it lit up. If you're just listening, you're not getting the full effect. But if you're watching, this thing is awesome, man. Hey, Tebow, tell me a little bit about yourself. Hey, uh, well, I'm a French national. I started the company a few years back. Um, I'm like, a, I'm so passionate about motorcycle, but I realized with a big issue is that it's very difficult to have safety meet style and comfort. So I was looking for the solution, for a solution that would be perfect for me. And as I didn't come across the right product, I just said, you know what? I'm going to quit my, my freaking annoying um, business finance job. I'm going to do this thing. And that's how the company started. And that's why I'm here today. Okay. Okay. No, that's, that's wonderful. So the company originally started in France and yeah. go ahead. So I, create, so I created the company three years ago in France mm -hmm. uh, with my business partner who stayed there. He's still taking care of the French side of it. And I moved here in North America a couple of years back. And I decided recently to like really like accelerate my sales here in North America because that's why that's why I live now. So, okay, okay, that's cool. Now, of course, we're both on the same thing about safety. I preach safety, and of course, the jacket is a hundred percent on the safety side. As for the lights, what about the other materials? Impact, durability, things like that. Of course, this is a very good question. Uh, the lights are a great bonus because they're going to avoid you from having accidents, but of course, you can still have other accidents. It happens. And mm -hmm. we wanted to have a safety gear before. So we have very high-end materials, very thick leather, well, for the leather for the leather versions. And all the other ones that have certifications are really hard to pass. Actually, most US brands don't even have this certification because they're too expensive, too long. Um, and it's called CAA rating. And, mm -hmm. and that's what we have on all our jackets because, yes, once again, it's important to not fall, but in case of, of a in case of a problem, you want to be as safe as possible. Remember, on a on a motorcycle, you do not have a full car around you. That is a fact. That is a fact. Coming from someone who's been on a few accidents, I can tell you. Now, the reason why I think this is perfect because whether you're riding on a K and M or a regular motorcycle, the lights in the back. You're only going to get maybe one, maybe two lights in the back. Now, for the Can Am, which is fortunate, it's a bigger bike in the back. You're able to add a lot more lights, but it can only go to a certain height. And I feel that, yes, people will see you in the distance because it'll light up, you know, in a distance you'll be able to see. But as the vehicles get closer and closer to you, it's more more people are not looking down at the brake lights. They're just looking ahead or looking on their phones. So that's why I think having something like this up high and they're able to just notice more lights will maybe get the focus of people to pay more attention to you. And this is coming yeah. from someone with experience of being hit in the back. <laughs> You're very, very, very right. As you, as you mentioned, the issue on a motorcycle is that all our lights are very low. And mostly there is only one of them. When you have multiple lights and a higher, so one in the like, people see you because you're in the line of sight. That's the biggest bonus. By the way, the jackets, when you break, 
there's an accelerometer inside the jacket that will understand this and the red light in the back will become stronger. I can do a little demo mm, like this. I see. I so you see. actually don't have to connect it to your bike, but you will have a brake light record. Mm. We also have the blinker record, but this requires a little module that's very easy to install in the motorcycle. Okay. Well, you know what? A lot of people work on their own motorcycles, so I'm quite sure a module like that wouldn't be a hard job for most people. It is and... It is super easy to install. I'm going to go through it in like one minute. Uh -huh. You just, there is four cables on it, two uh -huh. that goes on the plus minus of the battery and two cables that go on the wires for the, for the blinkers. It's just a little connector, a crimp connector that you just crimp on the cable. There's no need of soldering, cutting anything, so it won't void your warranty or anything. You can do it yourself in five minutes, but if ever you don't feel comfy about it, you just go see your mechanics. He will not charge you more than 15 minutes, but that's usually the minimum rate. And mm -hmm. they will do it. It will take them two minutes and, and it won't be an issue at all. Well, that's an awesome bonus to have actually the blinker now, not only on the bike, but up on the jacket. Like I, like I told everybody, and you know we spoke before, but I think this is like an awesome product. And just to let everybody know, I'm not, it's not a paid endorsement. Uh, we, I, we just ran across, I emailed them. He emailed me back. We talked about it. So it's not like I'm, I'm repping the brand. I just saw the brand. I was like, this is great. I want to just put it out to people because, you know, it's all about the safety, but I'm just a little curious, like, okay, so you're into safety. The idea of the light came in, like, now, how did that all come together? Like, oh, let me put a light in the jacket. Like, where do you, where did that even fall from? Yeah, of course. So actually the origin of the project, I was working with my business partner who is a designer and we were like thinking, well, we we're discussing with the motorcycle police people in France and we realized their safety gear is a massive joke. Like it's, it's completely stupid. Nothing goes with anything. It's like they have to plug things everywhere in the helmet. And, and we were wondering, hey, how can we make that better? And so we did prototypes, spoke with them and we actually won a grant because we like proposed all this, this great system. Mm. Um, it didn't go to the end, like they didn't actually implement it because it's a huge project, but to actually want a grant for this and to say, hey, we do work well together. Like what's in what we invented right, right there, what can we bring that will help everybody, not just the policemen, but everybody. And realize, hey, you know what? The lights is like, we have to look into it. There's probably something out there. And we really look, look to studies and we realize that in 66% of accident cases, it's because of lack of visibility. And we said, mm. okay, we have to do something. So then we carry on digging, digging, digging. Mm -hmm. And we saw another study that's, that, that showed that having lights up high and separated had a double advantage. As we mentioned earlier, you're in the line of sight. But the other huge thing is, as you create separation, you get a sense of perspective that you don't have on bikes. As we have only one light, people don't know how fast you're coming or mm. how fast they are approaching. But when you have two lights, you create instinctively a sense of perspective so people know how fast you're coming mm. or how fast they're coming up on you. And we realize, okay, that's it. Let's, we, we got to do it. But when you start there, like I have this, I know, I knew nothing about electronics, about manufacturing jackets. So I'm like, okay, I mean, you got to start somewhere. So, <laughs> so we just started at the beginning. You have, you have had to see the first prototypes. We really took our own jackets, bought like LEDs on Alibaba. <laughs> and, and, and so, you know, like we took, we took our memories we had from school where you learn basic soldering and this kind of thing and mm -hmm. starting just cutting into it, gluing it and trying many different technologies. It was really fun and really changeful. You got to start somewhere. Absolutely. And same thing to start. And same thing to start manufacturing. Now we have prototypes. We cannot do the technologies we want, but then you have to make it happen. And and it's uh, I relate a lot to Elon Musk, who often says production hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like mm -hmm. it's very easy to do a prototype. It is not easy to manufacture something at a large scale <laughs> because there's so many things that come into consideration. You can't imagine like um, like just cost every. Like every step of the process, you have to manage cost, your safety, like there's all this compromise you spend so much time making and it takes a lot of time and, and passion to go through this whole process. I see. I see. That's a whole uh, learning cur uh, understanding you just gave me on products and <laughs> manufacturing. I could imagine taking an idea right off your head to all the way to production, the steps that you must have gone through with your company. 
and now going off. Uh, are you still producing the jacket in France? Is your partner still produce it? Okay, so here's this is how it goes. What the jacket I have on my back is a first gen product. First We've gen. been selling it for about two years in mm -hmm. France and and a bit around the world too, but most in France we have a, a big distributor there. Okay. Uh, and for Gen 2, that's when we decided to go international. Gen 2, we did a Kickstarter that started uh, in November. We mm -hmm. sold uh, we sold uh, about 200 jackets there, mm -hmm. which is a great thing. And we're actually producing them right now. And we're also producing stock. So the Gen 2 product has a few differences with this one. The first difference with some people are like, oh, are you sure? We took off the LEDs that are in the arms because we realized those are so they light up so wide that they were a bit redundant, which okay. allows us to have even more battery life and even more reliability out of the jacket. Oh. The other big difference, and that's the actual real good thing, I should have started with the bad thing, but hey, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's that now we have the connectivity module I, I mentioned earlier. So now oh, we man. get to have the connection with the bike, which is a great thing. And which requires a very different technology because there it was completely standalone. There was no, um, there is just a chip inside, but no communication mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. But now we have through this communication mm -hmm. and there will be more future uh, features coming on in the future. They're still on under wraps, but they have all the technologies already in the jacket. You won't have to like buy a new jacket for that. Oh, I see. So it's going to be upgradable, like a, like a yes. Tesla or something like that. You That's just, it, over, um, over the uh, updates. <laughs> oh man, that's that is like man. I tell you, man. Once I saw it and we talked, like I, I'm just a fan now because I'm like, yeah, I've been riding motorcycles for years. You know, I went from two wheels and then I started with the Can Am, and I could tell you right now, most of my accidents were when I was stopped standing still. Oh yeah, most of my accidents. I mean, I could drive, ride in and out, do whatever, you know, but most I, I say 99 percent of my accidents was because i was standing still and wow. they say oh i didn't see you i didn't see you you know i have led lights i have brake lights i have this that that's why i was like well what more can i do and you know it never even came across to me and i know they sell things that you put on your helmet so people could see but you know me getting involved in something like that that's a really big piece to have on the back of your helmet and you that, that's a very good point you're making about the helmets i do wear these products i love them i think they're a great thing mm -hmm. i think they're a complement to what we have they have two downsides to it the one big one is that you don't want to add weight on your helmet right because it's right. a very sensitive part right the other thing is you have to think about it all the time what's on your jacket it's on your jacket it's there <laughs> like you don't have to think about it i just i just go out anywhere if i want to be lit up in a if i go in a bar i can't do it you know? <laughs> that's a side bonus when people are looking for me in a crowd and they say hey follow the light <laughs> <laughs> well that'll work good in the club so you don't have to take it off hey your jacket lights up Hey, my motorcycle's lighting up too. It's time to go. That's my man. That's my motorcycle telling my jacket it's time for us to leave. <laughs> man, if you have this in a when you light it up in a club, yeah, I, I don't do it because you're the only thing people see. It's like it's difficult to convey on camera how bright it is because here I'm like in my living room that's very bright, and you've seen it's blurring the camera. You, you can. So in a club, it's it's horrible. Actually, for some parties, <laughs> it, it's very stupid. But at the beginning, we started the company with the, the first prototype. We right. had a little blackout at some point, and we decided to light up the rooms with the jacket. And we had a little party with like a few Bluetooth speakers and the right. jacket that were flashing. <laughs> and we used it to light <laughs> Enough up Enough jackets to have your own nightclub. That, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So uh, the whole idea that came up, did you have... You had no design background, engineering background. It was just, just came to you one day. That's how it was. So I have an entrepreneurship background and a okay. finance background. Okay. My business partner it is, is a designer, not at all about clothing or anything, but we combine our vision to make it happen. Mm. And we just use both our skill set to make it happen. But because the design part, it's a very important part. To me, it's even the most important part, but it's something you don't need to be a designer to create a clothing line because you can hire this kind of people. Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. I mean, I haven't produced a product or in any way of producing a product. I just 
but I could see the steps and the stages. I've known people who've tried to produce products and the steps they went through, but you know, something on this level was just, it was just amazing to me. And the whole, I just wanted to get your whole perspective on how this and idea came about and everything. So about producing products is just, there's one huge thing is that you have something physical you can touch. There is like a sense of pride that is amazing. To me, the, one of the, my proudest moments in life is when I was walking down the street or riding a bike, I don't remember. And I saw this guy that I didn't know at all passing right by with my jacket. I was like, yeah, this is the moment you're like, wow, people are actually using it. And it's actually making an impact on people's lives because we have to remember it's a safety device that makes you, that looks cool, but also saves lives, you know? So I was like, yeah, that's that when it came to me. And I was like, wow, it's, 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 it's all worth it. No, it's that's a lot a, of effort and it's all worth it. <laughs> that's a very proud moment to see your product out there. It is, it is humbling. And I actually made a book for when the Can-Am came out, I came up with an idea because with the Can-Am, so many people do modifications, they do their own yeah. work. And so I decided to make a log book for people who do their own work, do their own service, just a place, a book, they could keep all their information, how much they spend this and that. So I created the book, put it out there. And I remember the first time I saw somebody post it on Facebook and say, hey, I got this book and I'm keeping all the records. And I was like, wow, look at that. It actually, someone actually bought it. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cool. Yeah, when you have your first sale, this is a, a, a huge, like, proud moment too. I had a very proud moment today too. I have a, one of my old customers and friends who actually made a movie with my jacket into it. And it's like a big, it's a, full parts of the show i don't have time to watch it yet <laughs> he just sent me the link just before this i'm like wow that's so cool i'm going to share it on on oh, social media so wow, so you guys can man. see it too but like same it's something like you know, there's a crazy sense of pride there no no that's that's beautiful man that, that's beautiful so uh what's the future plans of the company now now that you have the jacket you're in production you're waiting what's anything you know i don't want you to give out all your tips and all your secrets but <laughs> Like, what's the future plans for the company? What do you want to do? Where do you want to take it? Well, on the short term, as you mentioned, is delivering these jackets. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, right now, if you order, if you pre-order right now, it's a great time to do it because you get a great price. Yes, you have to wait a little bit, which is frustrating, but you also get 25% off, which is really a great deal, I think. Um, and the next step after this is to like try to expand as quick as possible and as much as possible. Mm -hmm. There is two other things we're working on on the side. Uh, the biggest one is also uh, addressing another sector, which is the bicycles. Uh, I'm not a huge bicycle rider myself, mm -hmm. but they have similar problems to us because they don't, not only they don't have enough light, they don't have lights most of the time. Mm, that's true. So, yes. so we're working on solutions to cater to this audience. It's a problem that we want to discuss today, but just it's always interesting to see, hey, that's what no. we're working on. No, no. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's what's up. I mean, to hear the company, you got plans to keep it going. That's great. That's great. That's it to keep, keep growing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So now you say the jackets will be available in October. So how yes. would people go about ordering it, getting it, finding your information, things like that? Sure. Very easy. www.relier.com. Relier is R A. L Y E E. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> R A Y L I E R. <laughs> All right, yeah, because you can I... probably you can probably put a link somewhere. I'm sure. Yeah, Ready. Yeah. Com. I'm gonna post the link easy. down. I'm gonna post the link down bef below, and uh, if you mention uh, Rolling on Three, the podcast, uh, Tebow got a little special gift in there for you if you order the jacket. Uh, I don't yeah, know what sure. it is. So if you guys, once you do the order, you just email me the order and say, hey, I heard about you on, uh, on this podcast. I will give you the free crash, uh, the crash, pot, the crash protection program, which is an awesome program where if ever you have a problem with your, we you have an accident and you damage your jacket this way, you have it all scuffed up and everything. You just send me back the jacket and I will send you a new one for half price. Oh, so listen, that's a bonus by itself. Look at that, people. I mean... Who's going to replace the product if you have an accident? There you go. You're getting insurance yeah. on the jacket. It's like, that's, it's like that's full basic coverage. an insurance policy. Co co hey, correct. Um, <laughs> it's actually a $50 value. Normally, you can purchase it separately on the website. But as I said, just email me after you order, then I will. 
I will send you the, I will add it. I will add the insurance to your. Order. Listen, listen, man, that's a great deal. I appreciate that. And, you know, like I said before, I said, you know, this is a, this is a product I saw that I really believed in. And after speaking to you and hearing your passion for it, I know you believe in the product too. And, you know, I can't wait till this thing drops. I, I'm definitely going to get one. I'm telling you that right now. I'm like, I love, <laughs> I'm all about safety. I don't care how hot it is. I don't care what the weather is. I'm wearing my gear when I ride. I just do, you know, and I try to preach other people to ride and things like yeah. that, you know, adding lights and all this. This is like a bonus. So like I said, man, you know, great to you. I like the idea. Great company. Uh, I'm going to tell you, everybody, I'll have all this information posted in the link below. Uh, so if you guys are interested and want to learn more about the company, want to pre-order, anything like that, please do. And listen, I mean, I like the guy. I like the product. So check it out. I mean, if you're just interested in more, just check it out. And like I said, if you're just listening, it's amazing to see it up front and close. So you might want to tune into the podcast and watch it. Uh, I'm Keith Hammer. This is Rolling on Three, the podcast for all three wheelers. If you want to reach me, it's uh, Rolling on Three Wheels at Gmail. That's the number three. Um, I'm on Instagram as the Shadow Black Riker, and uh, all other social media, TikTok, Twitter. It's Rolling on Three. Actually, if you just type in the hashtag Rolling on Three, that's the number three. Everything I do will pop up. Hey, man. Thank you for being on the show, man. This was great. Thank man. you so I much for having me. It. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to speak with you. We have so similar value. It was really, really nice. Thank you for the opportunity. Nah, man. Great, man. Great. Good luck to you and your business. Thank you. Have a great day.